Winnipeg is probably the world's largest small town. We're anticipating that if we get an NHL franchise, the city will proceed to build an arena. They are raising the roof here at the arena. There we were, the Winnipeg Jets. Now we're running with the big dogs. Howard Chuck behind the net to Bosch, went into the corner to Howard Chuck. I pretty much grew up in Winnipeg. I went there at 18. It's a great place to play, and uh, I really love the city and the people. Will you knock it off? What's the matter with these people? I'm so proud that I started my career there. John Market, Chuck, and Zolani. Here's Zolani. He's there. We started the whiteout, or did we? I don't know who started the whiteout. You're not going to tell me who started it? Did we borrow it from Vancouver? Did we borrow it from Calgary? The Sea of Red at the Saddle Dome, a whiteout at the Winnipeg Arena. I know the origination of it is up for debate. I think some of the people who worked for the Jets would tell you it was a marketing ploy. My ad agency, Palmer Jarvis, was invited to a meeting to talk about how we can engage the fans during the playoffs. And we were just throwing around ideas. We wanted to do something that was our own. Okay, Calgary's got this red thing happening. What can we do? And we were like, well, maybe we should do red, white, and blue. No, that's too much. Out of my mouth came the suggestion that we should encourage people to wear white because everybody's got a white t-shirt. There was a huge media blitz. We had the t-shirts, we had hats, they produced a song. doing radio at that time and I got a memo I think it was from Raccoon Carney and he said we want you to encourage people to wear white and I was kind of tepid in my thoughts of it I thought well it, some people will and some people won't well the Winnipeg Arena is all white as the fans have responded to the pleas of the hockey club it took my breath away not only was it white, it was the noise. We were doing the pregame show. It was probably 10, 15 minutes prior to the game. I couldn't hear a thing. White noise. You know, it, it took a personality on of its own. It looked like a snowstorm. Everybody pokes fun at our blizzards and our cold weather and our long winters. Well, we were in a kind of backhanded kind of way. We were celebrating that. It's like, imagine being in a room with 15,000 people and everyone won a million dollars and are all told at the exact same time. He was looking back to the point for McKinnis. Here's a big point for Havlicek. The Winnipeg Jets defeating the Calgary Flame four games to two. There was so much optimism and promise because they had some very good teams. The problem was the Edmonton Oilers. And of course, there was all kind of credit given to Gretzky and Messier and Coffee. They deserved it. But the key, the key was Grant Fuhr. Steve to Havlicek, takes a shot, another shot, not saved by Grant Fuhr. I mean, he just robbed the Jets blind year after year. That's me, a long shot, oh, not saved by Grant Fuhr. Fuhr made a brilliant save there. It was a feeling like the gods hated the Winnipeg Jets. Very sad day when this team finally leaves this city. Boy, it is going to be a hard pill to swallow indeed. The whiteout, it's the one piece that marries the past to the present. It's a reflection of how passionate our fans are and how passionate they've been about the Winnipeg Jets for a long, long time. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Hockey Night in Canada. We're back here in Winnipeg, and these fans are back here as well. The old Winnipeg Arena, the seats were pretty tight, and when everybody was wearing white, it was like, wow, it was almost like a glare in the building. This is an uncomfortable environment for players to play in. The white noise and the white whammy. I can feel the hair standing up on my arms right now. It's intimidating. We're like the little team that could. We're the city that could. Alan Benson, go score! They win this game tonight. They could be in the Stanley Cup final. Winnipeg is a creation of itself. You know, it's sort of a, a collective act of will. That creates hope. Wherever this team ends up, it's coming back to Winnipeg! Well, now, I believe we have a chance to be that team. 
that's too good for some of the others. People, they love us. They, they love what we do, and, and what we do every single night really matters to the people. They feel like they're almost a part of the team. It was so awesome knowing that I can share with my kids what my mom gave me, and that's just a true love of Winnipeg. Number 